The semantic web as a field of research is rich in diversity. It brings together professionals from many different backgrounds in pursuit of various goals. Even the basic understanding of what the semantic web is can differ drastically from person to person. Pascal Hitzler, a computer science professor at Kansas State University, has reviewed two decades of semantic web research and applications. From my perspective, um, I would say that semantic web, the field of semantic web, is primarily about finding efficient methods for data sharing, data discovery, data integration, and data reuse. A common narrative in the semantic web community is that the birth of the field began with the publication of a 2001 Scientific American article. Of course, there were other developments before the state, but this is widely recognized as a point in time when the field started to gain traction. So if you look at this 20-year angle, then um, the initial years were really very much dominated by the notion of ontologies. Ontologies, you could say, are in a sense captured knowledge in a formal form about a domain of interest. The community placed high expectations on ontologies and believed they could completely revolutionize data management. However, once people began to notice the limitations of ontologies, they moved on to what they thought would be the next big thing. Linked data was in particular the idea that you do not only create or expose or put to the public this data, but that you interlink this data. That's where the notion of linked data comes from. And the hope was that that would be a major advantage in dealing with kind of the ever-growing information. During the early 2010s, the hype behind linked data began to wane as people realized that integrating and utilizing linked data required more effort than initially expected. By 2012, a new term appeared on the scene when Google launched its knowledge graph. And in a sense, what's happening right now in the knowledge graphs area is a little bit of a synthesis of these things. The linked aspect kind of goes down. It didn't kind of pan out that well. The companies in particular which use knowledge graphs now or start using it, they are looking into how do we organize the data well such that downstream it's easier to reuse. But the basic underlying data model is still that of a graph. So it is very close to what linked data was uh, originally. I think it is really helpful for the Semantic Web field to look back at, at its history and to understand how it has developed, um, which dead ends it has moved into and come out of with what technology, and to take this larger perspective, consolidate all that has been done, and then use this as a basis for moving forward. Learn more in the February 2021 Communications of the ACM in the review article, A Review of the Semantic Web Field.